Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. It's Tuesday um, and so I start Vlogmas on the 30th of November so it ends up on Christmas if that makes sense because I post the next day. So technically today is December 1st. Um, I have gotten dressed but haven't brushed my hair or anything yet today. Just got out of bed and wanted to get dressed, so I'm wearing a Target sweater, and some Athleta leggings. Um, I've been watching one of my favorite YouTubers stream on TikTok this morning, Jessica Kent. You guys should follow her if you aren't already. Um, she's like so entertaining. Vinny, are you eating the Christmas tree? Stop it. Vinny, let go of the Christmas tree. Oh my God. Anyway, Jessica Kent, she is so interesting. She went to prison and does a lot of videos about her experience with drug addiction and getting sober and also just a lot of other like more fun videos. She also vlogs and I don't know, she's so genuine and sweet and so interesting and I watch her all the time. So I highly recommend. I've been watching her stream while she does her makeup this morning. Um, and I'm thinking about getting some Starbucks. I might just go downstairs because I need to pick up a prescription and um, If you guys don't know there's a target on the bottom floor of my building. So oh, hi Vinny. Hi Vinny <laughs> There's a target on the bottom floor of my building and They also have they have a Starbucks and a CVS so might do like a all-in-one stop situation go get a coffee and go pick up my prescription yeah, I think that might be next on the agenda. So I changed my mind. I feel like I should just do some Postmates now and get it over with because I feel like I always have the best luck with breakfast and it's nine o'clock. So like ideal breakfast time. So let's go do some Postmates. Okay, so I always go to like La Brea slash West Hollywood because I feel like they have the best um, breakfast places. Well, they just, most people order Postmates there anyway. But, um, yeah, I always have the best luck there. Um, and I've had really good luck with breakfast orders, like right on La Brea, um, in West Hollywood. West Hollywood? I don't really know if it's technically West Hollywood at that point. But, um, yeah, so I think that's where I'm gonna go. We'll see what we get. I just wanna do like three orders this morning. I might do some more tonight, but if I could get three this morning, that'd be awesome. I got my first order. I guess I'm going to Hollywood now to go pick it up. Just did my first order. It was kind of an annoying one because I had to do my prepaid card and it took a really long time and I was worried I was gonna get a ticket the whole time because I just had my flashers on and I was in a metered spot without paying. Um, but I was all good and hopefully I get a good tip. So yeah, it was kind of a bougie coffee place. So I kind of liked it. I might go back there sometime. On to the next, two more left at least. Okay, so oh sh I technically only went to two stores to pick up, but my last one had three separate deliveries in it. Three, not four. And so I technically did four deliveries, um, and on the last one it was like some bougie cafe, and they, I took one to the hills, I took one to Beverly Hills, and then I took another one um, on Beverly Boulevard, so... Hopefully I get some good tips. I'm gonna call that good for breakfast. I think that the breakfast rush is gonna start slowing down because it's like 10.30 now, so I'm gonna head back home. But yeah, I feel like it was pretty successful. I made 10 bucks total before tips for um, an hour of work, which hopefully will go up because I'm hoping those people tip me pretty good. So yeah, I'm heading home now. I decided to get Starbucks because it was kind of on my way, on the way home, and the line is ridiculous. I just got like stuck in the middle of the road trying to turn in because the line is all the way out to the road and it's like a pretty big like Starbucks parking lot so it's like wrapping all around the parking lot it's ridiculous 
But I'm still gonna wait in line because then now I'm here. I'm sleepy today though. I think I'm gonna get a peppermint white mocha because those are my favorite for the holidays. They're so good. So much better than a regular peppermint mocha or a regular white mocha. They kind of taste like exactly like a candy cane. So they're my fave. And I might just get a bagel. I'm really hungry. But I usually get a spinach feta wrap and that doesn't really sound that good today like for the first time ever in my life. Um, I kind of like, there's this coffee shop back in Michigan called Big B. Well, it's a chain, but um, they have these like bagels with turkey and Havarti. They're so good and I really miss those. I wish Starbucks had something like that, but I don't think they do. So I might just get a bagel and cream cheese and I don't know. I'll decide before I get up to the window, obviously. But I'm so hungry, I just need some sort of food. <sighs> My rooms are so squeaky. Hi, welcome. Hi there. Hello, um, can I please get a grande peppermint white mocha? Grande peppermint white mocha? Um, hot please, yes. Okay. And um, can I also get a Southwest veggie wrap? Southwest Veggie Yep. Sure. And that'll be it. Alright, Okay, thank you. I hope that I like it. I haven't tried the Southwest Veggie Wrap before. This Southwest Wrap is weird. And I'm not sure if I like it. It's like spicy in a weird way. It's very dry. It was also all puffed up, so like, I had to eat through like half the bread to get to the inside part. It's like, it's fine. It's just weird. Would I order it again? I don't think so. It's too messy to eat in the car, which is usually a trait that I'm looking for in my Starbucks food is can I eat it while I'm driving to work? I don't know. I don't know about it. It's weird. It's like just spicy enough that when you take a drink of your coffee, it makes it worse. Mmm. Peppermint white mocha. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. So I just finished with the Vlogmas Day 1 editing it. I was going to um, have a session with my new editor. Uh, my friend is, I shouldn't say editor, she's really gonna edit my videos for me, at least some of them. Um, but it's one of my friends who is going into film and we're setting up like a internship type of like apprenticeship situation so she can l learn and work at the same time. Um, so I'm really excited for that. Um, I, she was not available though when I needed to edit, so we'll start that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I just finished editing Vlogmas Day 1. Should be going up really soon. Now I think I'm gonna just be lazy for a little hot second and maybe take a little nap because naps are kind of my thing. Um, but I'm just still, I got my Christmas tree going. If I take a nap, I should probably turn that off so I don't waste electricity, but... Yeah, that's pretty much what my day's been going like so far. You guys, somebody just tipped me on Postmates. No, I should be thankful for any tip, but for real, somebody just post tipped me from an earlier Postmate I did, the first one I did this morning, and their bill was like $17. They tipped me 50 cents. Do you know how much of a tip that is? That's like a 3% tip. I drove their coffee and their food to their house. I have followed all the instructions. And they tipped me 50 cents. That was the one that was all difficult because I had to like put the whole order in with my card and blah, 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 whatever. I mean, it's not that hard, but still, that was a significant portion of my time this morning. And they tipped me 50 cents. 
which honestly a lot of people don't even tip at all so like I appreciate 50 cents compared to people who just never tip but kind of at that point I feel like that's just a slap in the face to be like oh yeah I'll leave a tip but like I'll leave like nothing like go get your own coffee at that point don't order delivery if you're not going to like be appreciative and pay um, the little bit extra to give a tip to somebody because I don't know that's just like just just kind of BS to me it's just frustrating because you know like I know we're all trying to survive out there during the pandemic and sometimes people don't have that much extra money but like I don't know if you don't want to tip go get your own coffee all right nap time is over it's 4:30, 4:45. 4.45 and I still haven't uploaded vlogmas day one so I need to go do that right now and then um I feel like I'm like behind on my day for some reason I need to decorate the tree and what else was I planning on doing today I don't know I'm still waking up I can't think straight yet internet has been going so slow lately I don't know what the issue is but I have been sitting in front of my computer trying to upload the first vlog for like the past hour and it still says there's 20 minutes left it's like a little bit of a longer video but um it's about 20 minutes so not that crazy that's like pretty close to my usual video length so i'm not really sure what the issue is Vinny's being a little crazy boy right now he was just i just caught him playing in the toilet so now his paws are all wet he's nasty now he's trying to eat the tree, of course. What else would he be doing with his evening? I don't really know. I forgot what I was saying, literally mid-sentence. Wow. Never mind. <laughs> Definitely got distracted and started drawing on my computer. Not drawing on my computer, but I have just bought myself like recently within the last couple months a drawing pad. So I've been practicing using that to draw in like Illustrator and stuff. Um, so I just got distracted doing that while my video is processing and then Vinny, you no know, scratching. Then I realized it had been like over an hour and my video was definitely done. So Vlogmas Day 1 is up officially now. Um, it is 6.20 so I probably should start thinking about dinner. But I am going to get my decorations and stuff out that I have which isn't very many at all and I'm gonna see what I can do with this tree so that it is a little bit little bit more festive okay so as of the current moment I found these but only four of them <laughs> and I found a lot of construction paper so I thought maybe I would make like construction paper chains because we had those on my tree at home so might as well I found these little um, pom-poms but they're not like ornaments or anything so I don't know how I would stick them to the tree and then just some ribbon random sparkly ribbon black velvet ribbon these I think I'm gonna make like orange garlands and lemon because I mostly have lemons and yeah so I'm definitely gonna have to get some other stuff I think but this is a start I'm gonna start here Vinny Vinny's gonna help me He's obsessed with going into these cupboards, but I don't let him, so he gets angry. Don't you? Do you get angry? I have anger issues. And he's going insane right now, um, but here's my update. Um, I stuck these little balls on because they had stickers. I don't know if you can see. There. <laughs> kind of looks dumb, but whatever. And then there's some bows. Got one ribbon on. I'm going to put this one on. I think it's going to blend in with the tree, but I'm still going to put it on. And then I'm going to make some paper garland. And maybe roast some oranges and lemons to make that garland but Vinny is like obsessed with the tree he keeps chewing on it 
and then I spray him with the water, and then he runs outside, and then he comes back, and then he does it again, so it's a struggle. Okay, so for the paper garland, I just picked out um, some colored paper, of uh, construction paper that I had, and I'm gonna cut it into strips, this short, the short way, and so they're like shorter strips, and then you just make them into loops and turn it into a chain, and that's pretty much it. It's super simple. I think my mom used to do this with us when we were like babies, so very simple. I just have to decide whether I'm going to tape them together or glue. Um, I'm not sure what kind of glue I have, but I know that I have some tape. I at least have packaging tape that could work if it had to. I'd rather use glue, but tape would be faster, so... I'm gonna have to investigate. I know I have hot glue, but I don't wanna use hot glue for this, so we'll see. Right now I'm just gonna worry about cutting. Benny, stop it. Let the cutting begin. Hi, you're on Vlogmas. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're good. Hi. So of course I look away for two minutes and Vinny got into my craft supplies, but I just took care of everything. And my chain is coming along. No, Vinny, oh my God, that was such a close call. Christmas with a cat, or a kitten I should say, because Stevie doesn't really get into things. Christmas with a kitten, or I imagine a child, is just yelling, don't touch that, it's not a toy, over and over again. But the problem with a kitten is that they don't speak English, so they're just gonna keep doing it, whereas, you know, if you yell at a kid to stop doing it, maybe they'll stop? I don't know. Anyway, back to chaining. This is taking way longer than expected, but I have committed myself now to it, so I'm gonna finish it. Okay, so I love what I did here, but clearly I'm gonna have to do a lot more. I just like don't really have it in me tonight though. Um, I've got that much more tree to do. So I'm gonna have to do like two more of these. But um, that's bugging me. I want it to end in like a natural spot. Anyway, I really like it. The p colors are perfect, but I just have to do a lot more. So I'm gonna do more tomorrow because literally been doing this for hours and I can't do any more but yeah I love it okay it's like 8 45 and I haven't eaten anything for dinner so I need to figure out something to eat nothing sounds good though oh Vinny's demanding his dinner hang on we gotta get him his friskies pate <laughs> smells terrible like cat food so that's what it is okay Vincent Hang on. Come here, my. Alright. I have special little bowls that I put Vinny's food in because I am that type of mother. They're just mini versions of my anthropology bowls. I think they're really cute. Um, so then he can be my little bougie cat. Ew. This never gets better. Like, I hate scooping wet food. Ew. Ew, I touched it with my finger. There you go, Vincent. I kind of just want to have a peanut butter and jelly for dinner. Oops. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. Don't judge me. I'm a real adult, I swear. I tried to tell Stevie it was time to come inside for bedtime, but she's not listening. She refuses. She wants to sleep outside. She wants to go camping. Are you camping? Are you camping flavor or not? Vinny's good. He's been inside. Yeah, he's being good. <sighs> come on, Stevie. No. Vinny, come on. Come on. Good boy. Come on, Stevie. She's totally ignoring me. Do you not like the Christmas tree? What's the issue? Fine. Ten more minutes. Alright, I'm heading to bed now. Got my long underwear onesie pajamas on and I'm ready to go to sleep. I'm sufficiently tired now. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, all the things. And I will be back tomorrow with Vlogmas Day 3. Good night.